Hello cherry viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Sunlight TV Prime and I'm Ohini. Please make sure you subscribe to your channel if you are new here and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified anytime we bring you an update or anytime we make a new post. Today we would like to reveal factors we think helped save Shatawale's music career and helped save Ghana's music as a whole. So going down to this update, 2011 to the early year of 2013 was one of the period of time Nigerian music completely dominated the Ghanaian music in our own grounds. With the lives of Two Face, The Band, Whiskey, Davido, Don Jazzy, Siwa Savage, Flavor, and P Square, which they even rebranded Ghana's own Azunto and named it Alingo. These top stars from Nigeria really worked hard to the extent that 90% of Nigerian music were played in almost every party, wedding, or even funeral that is being held in our own country. It's not that the Ghanaian musicians were lazy by then, but the DJs were moving with their stomach. If we say they were moving with their stomach, we mean if you don't pay them to play your music, they won't and they prefer to play the foreigner's music than that of their own country. Fast to middle 2013, this was the year Ghanaian musicians were looking for the Christ that will carry the music industry at its back and make Ghana music better again. This was the year music lovers from Ghana wanted more from their favorite musicians in the country. This was the year everyone was talking about how Nigerian music was dominating the Ghanaian music in our own ground. And this was the year Ghana DJs and musicians were blaming each other. This one will say, you don't play my music. And the others will say, you don't produce songs that will fit style of DJ. This was the year nobody had the solution to bring back Ghana music as it was better again. Then from nowhere one man stood out, a man who has ever been in the music industry before, a man who featured Tiny on a song he titled Mokoho which means nobody will pass, a man who his father named Charles Ni Ama Mensa, a man who has named himself Vandana appeared from nowhere with a brand new name called Shatawat. which he brought complete revolution to the music industry. Firstly, Shatawale was able to penetrate to the Ghana music unexpectedly from nowhere. He entered the music industry and decided to make it his home, meaning he is not going anywhere again and he has ever been here before and this is where he is supposed to be. So for him to be able to stick to the top, he remained consistent. Bandana is coming back as Chatawali was almost like a prepared warrior. He was able to prove his consistency by dropping hits upon hits. As hungry as Ghanaians were at that time, they welcomed every song he dropped and they loved almost every song he dropped, which really helped him to gain grounds faster through his consistency. Within a blink of an eye, he has already taken over the whole country and he mostly got his love from the streets and the ghetto. While he was able to release over 100 songs per year, Bandana was able to penetrate to the music scene with a dancehall song called Dancehall King. He released more dancehall songs then. But as fast as he was able to learn and figure out why DJs were playing more of Afrobeat, which is mostly sung by the Nigerians, he decided to switch to Afrobeat because he learned apart from the DJs playing it most, there is more reasons it pays more because of the industry he found himself. So the next point we talk about is his versatility. After the storm, which he named it such because of the struggle and misunderstanding he had with most of the top industry players which we will be looking at on a different post so please make sure you subscribe to the channel and never miss it the album had about 20 songs while showed how versatile he was by mixing up dancehall and the afrobeat songs on his album and the following tracks from the album were able to make a bigger impact in the country these songs are mahama paper baby chalk kiss kakai vieja if i collect i'm okay Reality, Champion, Dancehall King, Hold It, 
like a king, which was a hit in Jamaica, Kill Them With Prayers and Too Much Chemical, was among the songs from the album that were able to make hits in the country. Another way Wally was able to keep Ghana music alive is his way of creating beefs just to bring people's mind on him and also the industry. So another way that made his career succeed in the industry was through controversy. Wait, 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 train. Can you like the video? Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comment under the comment section. Let's continue. <laughs> Most people think artists who beef others are just stupid or even childish to do so. If you are one of them, I think this point will make you understand why beef is also important. Anyone who had followed dancehall for the last decade could tell that before dancehall was able to blow every corner of the world was the era of Mavado and Vibes Cartel, although the collide of these two artists brought division than a region could ever create. They divided the country into two, the Gully side and the Gaza camp, which nobody crosses the other person's way, although the beef led to lots of divisions and also lots of people's lives. But during this thing was when dancehall became popular and took over the world market. We can't talk about dancehall and ignore hip hop, which is one of the most biggest genres in the world. Hip hop couldn't have made it in the early 90s, if not East Coast West Coast hip hop rivalry between Tupac and his rivalry Notorious B.I.G. These two were able to bring lots of talks in the American industry and also brought lots of divisions. But at the end, hip hop won and was recognized as a mainstream genre, although they both lost their lives in the making. With this, you can see Wally really learned a lot from these past rivalries, which he puts them into practice and is one of the reasons he has made it. I know they kiss us, fuck all your favors. Nobody bigger than God, Jehovah. He turned the music industry into a professional music industry. If you know someone who made it in the music industry, in the early 2000s and the person is not rich, then this was the reason why he was famous as broke. In the early age of music in Ghana, musicians weren't paid well. Apart from them gaining fame, they get nothing out of it and they retire the music the same as they started broke. This was because the top industry players use the artist's fame and hit song for the success of their shows or events. But after the show has been successfully done, they then act as if they are doing the artist a favor for bringing them to their show and play their music there since they think their shows are bigger and also helps the career of the artists who perform their songs and also pull a crowd to make the show a success. They then pay the artist any amount they think is suitable for the artist's performance for that event. With this, even if the money isn't enough, the artist won't be able to complain since the system had made them believe they are being helped and if not because of such shows, they wouldn't have earned anything at all. But when Wale returned to the industry and was recognized as one of the topmost artists, he started to change certain deals. Example, he prides himself on anything you will invite him for that involves his talents. So now it's not like you are going to pay him for his appearance, but rather he charges them for appearing on their event. Shata understood the business strategy in such events and took a strong move most of the artists were afraid to take. He made it simple because he believed the show is theirs and he is also coming to perform and also he is the same person to pull the crowd to make your show better and a memorable one. Shatter was clever enough to create the Shatter Movement Empire after he appeared in the music scene for the second time. The Shatter Movement is completely one of the most hardcore fans to have ever existed in Ghana and the world, which Wale himself claims to have the biggest fan base in Africa. So now let's talk about how or why his fan base is one of the reasons he succeeded in the industry. We say 
thank you to the SM Empire. God bless you. After the 2015 Ghana Music Awards, with Shatawale was crowned Artist of the Year that night. Shatawale had lots of issues with the Charter House, most of the DJs in the industry, and also including the former owner of GH1, which he was still the owner then. This was where Shatawale's career almost died, if not for his strong fan base. He had zero airplay of any song he released on either TV or radio. He was completely pulled down. But this was where his fan base rise and started to support him than they could ever do. The fans were able to support his songs and through that he got number of hit songs. At the moment everyone thought his music career was dead, even without radio or TV airplay. And apart from his fans supporting his songs, they also fought for him either good or bad. They still stood with him and this was how his fans helped resurrect his music career and also help save the Ghana music industry as a whole. We will say thank you to the SM Empire. God bless you. Two beats is the way. So Beyonce, the smart one. Okay, let's let's see think, what we I can. think she just used us. So. And but she didn't even choose well. And it you know what? She didn't make videos with any of those artists. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Because how she didn't meet them. You see, that's how I think. I think. I think how do you? Gentlemen, Come on. We should position ourselves in a better light, in a better place, so that even beyond. Because really, she didn't want to have a, a video with them. She didn't want to. If she wanted to, it would have happened. I mean. It would have I mean, just check what an already video with Shatawale in it would have done for Shatawale's career worldwide. And even what that video would have done for Beyonce herself, it would have done a lot. So I, I think, I think, it would have done a lot. Thank you for watching our video to the end. Can you subscribe to the channel if you have not, and please like our video. And also, if you are watching from Facebook, please like our Facebook page. You can click on any of the video that will pop up on the screen. See you on, on our next update.